Hey guys, it's Ken again with another UVM interview question. So today we are going to be covering what is a virtual sequencer sequence or alternatively you could be asked something like the difference between a virtual sequencer and a virtual sequence. So let's uh, dive into it. So what exactly is a virtual sequencer? Vir uh, a virtual sequencer is something that extends from a UVM sequencer. Um, then basically it's not like your typical sequencer where it's not connected to any specific driver. Um, then it's, it's a generic kind of a UVM sequencer which has pointers to other sequencers. Um, sort of like a centralized locations for sequencer. Um, and then, of course, um, there's no notion of sequence item being sent to receive um, in a virtual sequencer. Um, there's no specific data type that's associated uh, with a virtual sequencer. So um, it can handle any kind of data type, uh, be it AXI, AHP, APB, etc. Uh, so virtual sequencer is something that's not really recommended as it adds multiple or another layer of hierarchy, which is not necessary. And that that is one reason why it's uh, it was used earlier, um, it's a legacy uh, way of doing things, but it's not recommended anymore. Um, so let's now look into what a virtual sequence is. A virtual sequence, on the other hand, is something that uh, extends from a UVM sequence. Um, it's a generic type of UVM sequence item, essentially. Um, so it gets created during the run phase of a UVM test. It's again uh, not associated with any particular type of data type. And th this is sort of like, you can also consider this as a top level collections of sequences and also has pointers to sequencers. Um, which is um, the recommended approach. So um, typically in a body task uh, of a virtual sequence, for instance, um, let's say um, as, um, as properties or class members of uh, this particular virtual sequence, which is the recommended way, you could have these defined or rather like or the rather declared like let's say a sequencer one and then you that and basically you have you call it my sequencer one the handle and then you have the sequencer two my sequencer two and within um but however you don't um assign anything inside the sequence um to these handles right so you don't create sequencers inside the sequence and then do the assignment. However, in the main UVM test, you will do the assignment for um, these handles and give them the required sequencers. And later on in the body task uh, of this virtual sequence, you will basically start specific sequence that are supposed to run on sequencer one and for instance, the my sequence two, which is gonna run on my sequencer two um this all of this is going to get done within the body task so this becomes in that sense it becomes a um, higher level collection of like like i said higher level collection of sequences and also has pointers to the sequencers which basically uh, get assigned when within the ubm test um so basically these handles are going to get assigned uh within like say the rent run phase of the um of the uvm test so so once you have initialized the sequence um which is sort of like created here like i said in the uvm test 
you create the my v uh, virtual sequence for instance and within uh, within the run phase you also assign uh, handles to these sequencers which is my sequencer one and my sequencer two within the run phase uh, of um, basically the ubm test and then um, the the last step is to basically um, start the sequence so once you have uh, done the assignments of the sequencer now you can start and of course this will execute the body which is going to execute these sequences on these sequencers which you assign just before you call it start in the UVM test. And over here, the interesting thing is that you wanna that, that you all are probably noticing is we are calling uh, or we are basically the argument over here is null for the sequencer for uh, the virtual sequence, and which is the recommended approach. So this sort of like um, tells us that um, there's no particular sequencer associated. All right. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care.